I went to see Bernie on uh, October the 8th, 2019, to talk to him about doing this series. I remember the day really well because it would have been my mum's birthday. Uh, the previous Thursday, I sent an email to his assistants, Enrica and Chio, just asking if he had 15 minutes free to discuss something. And what I couldn't believe was just literally half an hour later, they gave me two options, Monday morning or Tuesday morning, and Monday morning I do my clinic. So um, I arrived on Tuesday morning and um, he came in and sat down and it was in the Playboy room at um, Princess Gate. And he said, so what's on your mind? What do you want to do? And I said, I'd love to do this series about you. And I said, but if we do it, it's really long form. Got to start at the beginning, got to end kind of now. The whole story, the story of Formula One as well, because your story and Formula One's story, I mean, you can't separate them. And um, I mean, I've come to know this now, because I think I'd probably only met Bernie for half a dozen times before that, for a total of probably 30 minutes, 40 minutes. So not long. And uh, he does this thing. He, he always gives you a decision. That's what I absolutely adore about him. He just, or one of the things I adore about him, but he had a little think and you could see he was really calculating. And then he looked at me and he said, if you do this, it'll be really good, won't it? And I said, you know, yeah, I'll try. But yes, I think we'll make it great. And he said, let's do it. And we shook hands. Um, and then COVID happened and uh, we all went back to our strange tortoise-like lives. But then he gave me a call in August last year. He said he was in Switzerland and um, I knew that Ace had been born. And he said, do you want to come out here and, and let's get going? And you know, it was putting together a bit of a scratch production, but managed to find a chalet actually not too far from the Olden Hotel where he gave us a suite for the first part of the shoot. And um, it took a while to get the rhythm going, but we did get the rhythm going. And he he's an extraordinary man. I, everyone sort of knows it, but to hear him speak, to, to get a sense of how he loves order and, and craves to create order, but also does it with a patience. And he's a man who respects people as well. And I think that's great. And he has this absolutely terrifying reputation. And don't get me wrong, I think if you are on the wrong side of him, poof, you know, you've got a better chance against a great white shark. But if you really listen to what he has to say and you think about how he does things, you can learn a lot about yourself. And that's what I think. And that, that's ultimately the biggest ambition I have for this series. It's, it's a life so, extraordinary, so extraordinarily well lived but it's a life that we can all learn from because there are lots of principles in his life and um, underlying all of them is one word and it's trust and you know you can build a multi-billion dollar empire but it's nothing without trust with trust you build something that even the money that spectacle that personality you know uh it transcends all of that. What you build is basically a life full of incredible friendships and relationships, and that's what he has. And we're here in Ibiza now. Um, shot him in Switzerland twice. He is so loved. Um, I mean, really, that's the only word for it. He's so loved by the people who clean his home, by the people who drive his car, by the people who man his boats, by every friend he's made, by the lady who runs this hotel. And, and, and he's loved by us. I mean, I, you know, 
I'm here with the tiny crew, Mark and Robin, and, um, you know, I, I don't think it's going too far to say that we absolutely love him. And I think that's a great place to stop.